Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Legion Pharmacy. So here in this video, let's discuss about the pharmaceutical organic chemistry one solved question paper of June 2023. Okay, here you will get basic idea how to write the answers for the particular question. If you are already failed in this subject, means you are having backlog in this organic chemistry or just you are writing this organic chemistry one. So for them it's a very 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 interesting and very important video so watch this video until last and especially rghs university students should watch this video until last okay 10 marks question discuss about kinetics and mechanism of e1 and e2 that is elimination reaction one and two fixed question every time they will ask this either they will ask in 10 mark or they will ask in five mark here first to write this definition of this elimination reaction then you write the types you know that e2 and e1 or e1 and e2 there are two types here e2 is bimolecular e1 is unimolecular unimolecular two reactions two examples you have to give after that e1 elimination reaction some description you have to write for this e1 with example then mechanism you have to write for this you know that two steps are there here maintain those two steps application you write down then go for e2 reaction here also you have to write some reactivity mechanism and all and this one is the difference between e1 and e2 sometimes this question may be asked in two mark now next one is uh, explain the acidity of carboxylic acid then write the mechanism of perkin condensation this is the general reaction first i have wrote here perkin condensation okay in perkin condensation the product is a cinnamic acid that cinnamic acid mechanism only you have to write down here see steps of perkin reaction then here are uh, step one step two step three follow these all steps okay reactions are very important practice this if you practice two times three times means definitely it will fix in your mind examples you have to be good then applications also important then acidity of carboxylic acid first to define what is this carboxylic acid what is carboxylic acid don't write this what is this just you write the definition for this general formula example like acetic acid formic acid these are the carboxylic acid compounds okay then you have to give some mechanism okay then acidity constant this all matter you have to write down after that you give an example for this then come for second question explain briefly the factors affecting SN1 and SN2 reaction that is a nucleophilic substitution 1 and substitution 2 fixed question for your exam first to explain in brief what is this s1 and sn2 with example you know that sn1 means unimolecular 2 means bimolecular okay you write uh, for sn1 then you write for the sn2 means in sn1 all pattern you have to write all matter like mechanism uh, and all you have to write in uh, sn2 you have to write the first example then you go for writing mechanism this all you have to maintain and comparison also you have to write that is the difference you at least you maintain four difference if they ask for five mark means uh, then you have to write uh, uh, this all SN1 and SN2. Then at last you have to write this difference like in like this in a column. Factors affecting SN1 and SN2 are also very important. Write down these factors also. Explain. Uh, explain. Then 5 marks. Write the IUPSC name. They have asked here formic acid, acetone, isopropyl alcohol, then ethylene alcohol and acetylene. Don't just write for IUPAC name. After writing the IUPAC name, at least you write a 2 to 3 uses for that. Clear? Yes. Next question is uh, explain the rearrangement of carbocation. Okay. Here you have to write rearrangement. First you define that. What is this? Carbocations. Then you write primary carbocations, secondary carbocations, tertiary carbocations. Then you go on writing this rearrangement of carbocation. Types of shifts are there. Okay. That's shifts you have to maintain. After that factors also you have to write uh, factors affecting carbocation activity. The fourth question explain the basicity of aliphatic amines with examples. Basicity of aliphatic amines. Okay. Write down this basicity. Then uh, after writing the basicity, uh, you the next question is uh, write the quantity to test for esters and carboxylic acid. You know that first you have to define what are these esters with examples. Then you have to write from test for like uh, alkaline hydrolysis. It is a test, qualitative test, okay, for the esters. Then uh, hydroxamic acid test. Then for uh, carboxylic acid, same, how you define esters, no? In the same way, you have to define here a carboxylic acid example. Then test, like sodium bicarbonate test. 
then you will call ester test also for carboxylic acid test we are using ester test then stereochemistry for sn1 and sn2 here you have to write first define what is this stereochemistry are you getting yeah then you write the stereochemistry description for this mechanism and all you have to maintain and you don't worry you will get in the description what you will get you will get these notes pdf notes in the description download and keep it ready okay this is the solved question paper of june 2023 as you and so on in the thumbnail define markonev's rule it is also called as addition reaction clear this ha huh? you keep in mind first you define this write the mechanism and all for this markonev's rule this you have to maintain after writing uh, the markonev's rule our next question is mechanism of aldol condensation fix one aldol cross aldol perkin kenizero from these fix question from these three or four one will be fixed either I mean sometimes they will ask all these three in ten marks. So be ready. Here first you have to write what are these condensation reactions. In this you have to write what is this aldol condensation. Okay, then you have to give one basic example for this. So then you have to write the steps. That is mechanism. Steps mechanism both are same. Step one, step two, step three, and also applications. Also you have to write limitations. Also you have to maintain two chemical tests for alcohols and amines. Okay, alcohols and it is not. Uh, just uh, this mistake ah huh? it is a uh, amines alcohols and amines just to scratch out this a and d alcohols and amines qualitative test are there it is esterification test is there then uh, ca ceric ammonium nitrate test is there then lucas test is there for the amines then qualitative test for alcohols alcohols lucas test is there and sorry comma then uh, qualitative test for amine heisenberg test is there then uh, carbyl amine test is there it is a qualitative test for amines are you getting then uh, our ninth question what is the benzoin condensation give its mechanism benzoin condensation you have to write some more description then you have to write this uh, mechanism of action steps you have to maintain and uh, you have to write the applications also uses and applications of benzoin condensation then our two marks what is diels alder reaction give example okay here this all you have to write down okay maintain this type only then uh, you write what is metamerism give example then our next question is a structure and uses of lactic acid and benzyl benzoate then explain why methyl bromide undergo sn2 reaction after the uh, faster than the isopropyl bromide 14th one structure uses of isobutyl chloride and tertiary butyl bromide is all you have to write down are you are you getting na yeah And what is cross Kenizero reaction? Then define electrophiles and nucleophiles. This type column you have to make and write. What are free radicals? Classify eighteen question two qualitative test to distinguish between aldehyde and ketones. You write any two. Okay, select and write any two. Last question: What is allylic rearrangement? Allylic rearrangement with example. This example you have to maintain. Yes, this is the pharmaceutical organic chemistry one solved question paper of uh, your June twenty twenty three. So uh watch here what you do means you just go to the description download and uh, save this file or better you go and take and come the xerox because it is a very important question paper clear thank you